All right, our next guest, by the way, has now been caught up in the Democrats' witch hunt, and it has cost him dearly and personally. Former Trump campaign aide Michael Caputo, he's had to sell his home to pay for legal fees associated with the Russia probe, and he's now fearful that his kids' futures are in jeopardy over this. Now, this week, Caputo had harsh words for the Senate Intelligence Committee. He told them this, quote, what America needs is an investigation of the investigators. I want to know who's paying for the spy's work in coordinating this attack on President Donald Trump. I want to know who cost us so much money, who crushed our kids, who forced us out of our home, all because you lost an election. I want to know because, well, GD, you to hell. Michael Caputo joins us now. Um, you know, I know you're not the only one. You said what a lot of people feel. I said this to Rudy Giuliani the other night. You know, I watched Hope Hicks from day one in the Trump campaign. I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, she probably spent more legal fees than she was paid last year. And I think that's the case for a lot of people. Tell, I want you to explain how this impacts you and your family. Well, it all started, well, thanks for having me, Sean, by the way, but it all started on March 20th. Uh, 2017, when uh, the, the uh, House uh, Intelligence Committee had a public hearing where Representative Jackie Speer brought my name up and my wife's name up in the hearing and called me Putin's image maker. The threats to our family came uh, just one after the other from there, death threat after death threat. One guy called me after that hearing on the phone and said, I know you're not home. We're going to burn your house down with your wife and children inside. These death threats haven't stopped since that day. I had to lawyer up shortly thereafter when it became very clear that I was going to be pulled into the congressional investigations. And since then, after a House Permanent Select Committee of Intelligence uh, hearing in uh, 2017, and then a Senate committee hearing uh, on Tuesday, and now I'm, I'm uh, sitting before the Mueller team on Wednesday, we're at about $125,000. I want to tell you, I, we were on our way out of our, out of our home, Sean, on our way out, because we couldn't have a home like we had and make Buffalo money. We had to move to Washington to make Washington money so I could pay the debt that I had, you know, these $125,000 more I make in a year out here in East Aurora, New York. It's just, you know, that's how much, you know, we don't make that much out here. We have a, we're wealthy and a quality of life. You know, but you know what happened? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, what happened, Sean, really surprised me because just one last thing we tried to do before we had to really pack up was put up a GoFundMe. And between the time I told them to go to hell and the time I checked my GoFundMe, we had raised over $125,000 in $20 increments, more than 2,000 donors. I was just shocked by this. And I think it's a good thing for people to see because there are a dozen or more other people who can't afford this, who are really having trouble, and they need to know that the mock of people out there will back them up. I'm the first one actually to, to, to see this. I'm proof positive that people are sick of this. Yeah, look, nobody should have to lose their home. Here's the problem for, for you, though. They drag you into a legal case. You must hire a lawyer because you don't, no person can fight this on their own because, as we learned and talked a lot about this week, they set up perjury traps. And if you don't answer the right way, then you're going to be charged with perjury. If you misremember something, you're going to be charged with perjury. Look at the revelation we had, Catherine Herridge tonight, and the unredacted portion of the House Intel report where literally nobody thought Michael Flynn was lying. Nobody, including right. Comey, who lied about it. I'll tell you, Sean, you know, I walked right into that same situation Wednesday with the Mueller team. I was in there three hours, which was, you know, I think kind of remarkably short, considering how long people have been in there. But they aren't nice. They're, they're in there directed. And they didn't ask me one question that they didn't already know the answer to. They weren't investigating. They were there to ask me questions they knew the answer to. I don't want to call what it sounds like, because frankly, I'm a little intimidated by this. They warned me that, you know, they would be watching me on TV, and they know another trip to you, the oh, Mueller investigations, another $25,000 for me. But I'm telling you, Sean, it's, it's a sticky wicket in there, and they're not pulling you in there uh, for a barn dance. They, they're, they're in there to, to put you in a situation where you make a mistake. 
how sad they try to intimidate you. We'll be watching you on TV. You know, I've been in uh, this business 30 years, and it's obvious millions of dollars have been spent to try and smear me in just the last recent weeks. Uh, we're either going to remain the United States of America or we're going to become Venezuela. Yeah, you're right. We better stand up. This abuse of power is out of control. Michael, I'm sorry what happened to your family with all my heart. I, um, well, I thanks a lot, sorry. Sean. You know, my, Go, my GoFundMe is up at CaputoLegalFund.com. I probably got to raise another 70 or 80. After this, after this interview, probably another 150. But I've had it, Sean. Everybody's got to stand up. This thing's got to end. I'm sorry that this has all happened to you. What you described should put a chill up the spine of every American. Uh, Michael, my best to you and your family, and uh, we'll put up that on uh, that that on the screen when we can.